Welcome to the first part of the Raptor tutorial series. We will start off by sculpting the Raptor. You can start sculpting with a ball or a cube, but I'd like to start with a base mesh. Because it's easy to define shape and volume of a certain aspect of the character, especially if you have a concept art to stick to. And it also helps to plan out topology early on, even though the sculpt won't hold any topology details. So once you have a decent base mesh to start with, you can start sculpting. You don't have to have every detail modeled out to start sculpting. You can do that in the sculpting part itself. But it's, like I said, it's easier to have a base mesh to start with. So about sculpting, there's plenty of sculpting tutorials out there. So you go ahead and check them out. That they describe in detail the job of each and every tool that you can use. I highly recommend that you go through them before you start sculpting. But basically what you do is add clay, remove clay, grab and move, crease. It's all a matter of just using the tools to get the shape that you want, pretty much. It's better to get familiar with the sculpting tools before you start sculpting a character straight ahead. So what I'm doing here right now is referring to the concept art and defining the shapes as I would like to. You don't have to worry about fine tuning all the details, it's just a matter of blocking them out to begin with. Make sure the proportions are right. And if there's a certain type of stylization that you're going for that requires alterations of proportions, then by all means do that. Sculpting in Blender is very much similar to sculpting in ZBrush. Most of the tools that are in ZBrush is also here in Blender. So if you're switching from ZBrush to Blender, it should not be much of a difference to get used to. Once you have the basis of your sculpt done, you can go ahead and polish out the details to go with the stylization that you're going for or to define certain details that you really want to emphasize.
So that's it for the sculpting. In the next part, we will redeploy this sculpt into a proper model. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next part.